We have 18 months to develop our so. Hello everyone. This week, I'm incredibly honored to be introducing you to a professional with three decades of multidisciplinary experience in military and air accident investigation capacities. Mr. Usman Ghani has been a prior helicopter rescue pilot, a deputy director of operations, and a director of ground safety for the Pakistan Air Force. He has served as the military wing director for the government of Pakistan, and from 2018 to 2020, he led the Aircraft Accident Investigation Board of Pakistan as its president. Currently, he is an air accident investigator for the Qatar Air Accident Investigation Unit, and as a leading investigator, he has contributed to 11 serious incident and two accident investigations. Most notably, he has uh, contributed to the publishing of the very first preliminary report produced by Pakistan, which was then incredibly considered and marked as a benchmark report. He led the PAA flight number 8303 crash investigation, an Airbus A320, which tragically came down in the very narrow streets of the Karachi area in Pakistan at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic on May 2020. And this incredible, in my opinion, interview dives into the journey of Mr. Ghani from being drafted in the Pakistani Air Force and practicing helicopter rescue attempts from 1992 till 2004 to leading one of the most complex modern aircraft crash investigations. The interview aims to pull the veil, pull the veil over the challenges, the pressures, the harsh reality of active investigation and military duty, but also depicts the effect war has had in Pakistan through Mr. Ghani's eyes. I also have to mention that this interview would have never happened if a friend of Mr. Ghani didn't persuade him to open a LinkedIn account. So I'm thankful to that friend. And I have to admit that Mr. Ghani is an astounding professional, a very accurate and conscientious storyteller, and a true, a very true gentleman. I just hope at this point that you find this interview as mesmerizing and educational for your future careers as I did. Thank you, George. Hello, everyone. My name is Usman. I am an ex Air Force helicopter pilot. I had been flying search and rescue helicopters and uh, I retired from Pakistan Air Force in December 2020. My last uh, appointment while I was in service was uh, President of Aircraft Accident Investigation Board of Pakistan and uh, presently I am working as an accident investigator in Qatar. We are proceeding back sir, we have lost engines. We are Mayday, 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 Pakistan 8303. The moment of disaster. Yes, uh, one of the most uh, interesting situations that I encountered during my career, and uh, you can also say that it was quite challenging for me, was the uh, immediate actions after the crash of PIA Airbus 320 that was in. Uh, May 2020, it was PK-8303. The challenges were related to that particular situation because it was peak time of COVID and uh, there were many, many travel restrictions, many restrictions in moving around. PIA was already under a lot of scrutiny by the media because of the ongoing uh, uh, issues, administrative issues and uh, some serious incidents were also in, in the media. Security and law and order situation in Karachi was a little fragile. The location of the crash site was also very, very challenging because it was a narrow street of 20-25 feet, you can say, and the aircraft fuselage was packed, tightly packed inside the street. and. Above all, there had been a lot of pressure on uh, me from different um, stakeholders uh, openly and also undercover to, to, to influence me for the, the course of investigation. So we dealt with the challenges to start with for COVID. I sought uh, express approvals from the highest 
uh, forum for the technical support team that was led by BEA. It had advisors from uh, Airbus and Saffron Engines. And uh, naturally, we did not deal with the media, and uh, that part was dealt by the ministry. And uh, security and uh, law and order was also like it required an additional coordination, additional uh, responsibility to 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 deal with uh, many many people. And uh, for the pressures that were aimed to influence the course of investigations, were were definitely uh, I had to like stand and uh, bear those, press, those pressures and um, well it was interesting uh, that uh, the government announced that uh, there would be a preliminary report after one month and uh, this was the first time ever that in, in case of any crash in Pakistan that uh, a preliminary report was published and uh, I can say that I did not uh, take any pressure and I mentioned everything that was factual without uh, any manipulation or uh, any alteration that was expected from me. about the advice for the new investigators actually it is an advice for every investigator I also have to remind myself time and again and uh, this is regarding uh, bias during investigation there are many uh, pressures many difficulties and there can be a tendency by the individuals that uh, they get biased. It can be because of the time constraint, because of the limited information, or because of the convenience sometimes when um, you have some information and you have time and you consider that it is a reasonable conclusion. But um, the only way to deal with this is to remind yourself that you don't have to be biased give yourself time and uh, re-evaluate everything that you have analyzed by going through, looking at it again and again in different times, different perspectives and try and include every possible related aspect that may have had an influence on the investigation.